Yo, what's up? Joshua Casper here with a quick tip for using Tornado inside of Ableton Live. I really like Tornado for live performance and I also like it for studio performance, but I find myself not liking to have to open this up, especially when I'm going to be using um, a set that I've already have laid out here or one of these great presets. I want to be able to tweak these knobs without having to open up the, the window every time. It's just easier for me. I thought it might be easier for you. I did this similar tutorial on uh, Massive. So if you if you use Massive, definitely go check that out as well. But I'm just gonna show you a quick way to work around having to open up this window every time you wanna tweak a knob. Uh, usually if you plug in like a, a monitor controller like the APC40 and click on the device, it will auto locate these knobs to know that this is the parameters that you should be tweaking. But not all controllers do that. And I think it's easier to do what I'm about to show you so you can map your MIDI controller to these knobs without having to deal with this floating window. So the first thing I do is just come in and I would open up the configure window here. I'd hit configure and then I just come through and click each one of these knobs. And if I move this over, you'll see that as I click these knobs, the control parameter shows up over here in that window. So now I've got all eight of the knobs uh, parameters inside of the device window down here and I just hit configure to kind of set those. And the next thing I do is just come in and right click and go to group. And then I would come over to the macro knobs and then just send each one of these controllers to a macro of its own. Boom. And then I can close this down. And now I can use the effects inside a tornado without having to ever open up that window. I think it's just easier for me. Unless I wanted to go in and change some of the effects I was using, then I could just open up the device over here, open it up. And the cool thing about it now is I can actually cycle through these preset lists or, you know, make my own. And these knobs are still going to control the parameter. So right now I'm controlling the React, but if I say I want the granulizer now, I put that on, this device, is, this macro is still going to control that effect inside of the tornado. So it's really customizable, but it's really streamlined for use inside of Ableton. Anyway, I hope that helps some of you guys, and we'll see you next time. Peace.